Dr. Rooney and I are satisfied that these arthropods are not of this earth. So I gathered. You've been busy hinting at Mars. Mars is dead. Nothing there but a few scraps of lichen. Five million years ago, it may have been very different. Suppose at that time there were living beings on it with techniques that enabled them to visit the Earth at a time when the most highly evolved creatures here, our own ancestors, were only a type of Pliocene ape. Go on. They may have wanted to found another colony when their own world was doomed, but couldn't endure our atmosphere. So they experimented. Experimented? The man-apes found beside the missile were abnormal. And the insects were responsible. There's clearly some connection. My guess is that those were ape mutations being brought back for release on Earth. And you really believe that this was possible? That apes were systematically taken from this planet to another and altered? By selective breeding, atomic surgery, methods we can't guess. And returned with new faculties instilled in them. High intelligence. Perhaps something else. In effect, a colonization. It'd be a way of possessing the Earth. Only a colony by proxy, but better than leaving nothing at all behind. Surely. It had to be carried out on a huge scale. Yes, if I'm right, if I'm right, we've just come on a single instance. Probably an accident, a landing that went wrong, and they all died. The Thames Valley was swamp then. You realize what you're implying? that we owe our human condition here to the intervention of insects. I suppose I am.